Hey y'all, I was asked to do a tutorial video on how to embroidery on toilet paper. So here you go. Um, first thing you need, roll of toilet paper. Hoop, embroidery machine with design. So what you want to do first is you want to unroll your, your roll of toilet paper. I use the mega rolls just because I think, you know, for the price that we can charge for these, I think it'd be nicer to give somebody a big mega roll than a dollar general skinny roll. Anyway, first thing you want to do is you want to count, unroll your toilet paper. I usually always rip off the uh, the very end piece because it's usually wrinkly. Um, you count three squares over, one, two, three, and you fold. And you do this three times. So I've already done two, so I've got one more fold to go, three squares. And, and I mean, it's seriously simple. Um, just fold it over. And then you, of course, you know, you want to make sure it's all nice and neat and even and lined up. Do that. And then you're going to take two medium stabilizer sheets and hoop them in your hoop. So once you've folded your toilet paper three times in off on three squares, be sure you flip it over before you put it on the machine. Okay. You're, you'll be bumming later if you don't. So flip it over to where the fold is on the inside before you put it um, on top of your uh, stabilizer. Okay, so I got my um, hooped in the machine, and then what I did was I, I used the center square of my toilet paper um, to put the design on, and then it's just a matter of, I don't know, you know how familiar you guys are with your machines, but that's my design I'm going to do. And over here is this button, and what this does is it shows you the stitching area, so you make sure that that uh, paper is um, centered. Let me show you. See, watch. It's going to show me exactly where that needle is going to go. And that way I can make this as centered as possible. Okay. All right. So we're off and running. Um, I float my toilet paper on these. Um, the videos I watch suggest pinning them with straight pins. But I just had a hard of time trying to get that pin to go back in there. So I just thought, you know what, let's just float it and see what happens. And it's been working quite well for me. Um, so anyway, so this is it. Then you just let it thread it out or let it sew itself out. And then after that, we'll be doing the little trim and trim trim and uh, finishing the product. So the ho-ho-ho is done. I've already switched it to my next color. And at this point, you don't even have to hold anything or whatever. It's all, you know, it's down now. I mean, all we got to do now is just go through our colors. If it if the design does start to come close to this edge, I will pay attention and just hold this down so it gets there um, without getting a bunch of crinkling. You do got to you do got to watch these. I mean, this isn't something that you can just start and walk away from. Anyway, so let's go ahead and finish this up. Okay. So the design is done. I've gotten it out of my machine and unhooped. And now what I'm going to do is do all my little clippy clips. But what I have learned is, or what I use, I should say, is I actually use my seam ripper to actually get up under this and lift it up some to trim it because this toilet paper is so delicate. The pointy little scissors, they'll get me every time. So I basically, I stick it in there and then I use my, I don't know, I'm sure most everybody that doesn't board your has these by now. My little curved scissors and trim, trim, trim. So trimming is next. Trim away. So once I got all my little trimmy trims done, I also flip it over where the two things the stabilizer are. But as you can see, I'm not very neat about it. I just trim it out just so it's going to be hidden behind the paper and still gives us some stability. And now I'm going to roll it up and pin it. Okay. Once I did the trimming, then as you can see, I rolled it up. And on the end there, I just stuck a straight pin in there to hold it. And voila, now I'm just waiting on my cellophane bags to show up so I can uh, finish them off. But there you go. That's how I make my toilet paper decor. Thanks for watching.